Oh, joy. All right, well, it's a book for recent grads and 20-somethings looking for their place in the job world. Here with details on our new book, Dig the Gig, is Laura Dodd. Laura, good morning. Hello. Good morning. This is such an amazing concept, and we were just talking about it. The great thing about it is, I think, for young people, they're seeing someone, almost one of their peers, giving them some feedback. Very honest, candid talks about conversation. We were mm -hmm. just talking about there's plenty of books out there that tell you what to wear to an interview or how to write and perfect a resume. This is a book about what jobs are really like from the people you were, you were talking to mm -hmm. already. Right, right. In healthcare and news and government and all sorts of industries. And you also said that your your main focus is to try to start the conversation early. What do you mean by that? I just mean in even in high school and college and 20-somethings, start being curious about jobs that maybe you've never heard about before, right? Uh, jobs in healthcare or green jobs, renewable energy, um, urban planning, stuff mm -hmm. like this that maybe, you know, there's so many other jobs besides doctor, lawyer, dentist. Yeah, I think one of the major problems that I used to see when I was in school, a lot of people saying, there's just not a job out there for me, or there's just no jobs left, and that's just not true, but you have to know where to look, exactly. especially for people our age. Sure, and just start big and chip away if you're interested in news, you know, to start that, okay, so you want to be a part of news. Well, there, it takes hundreds of people to make a news organization run. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to be on air. There are engineers, right. there's graphics, there's so many other different areas. And in, in the book, you talk about following up, following up, following up, more and more and more. I do. What do you mean? I mean, well, for instance, I wouldn't have gotten half the interviews, Laura, in mm -hmm. this book without following up. Mm -hmm. So if someone gives you a business card, they're not doing it to be nice. They're doing it as an invitation to contact them. So do it. Don't just stuff it and in don't the glove lose compartment. It. Yeah. And don't lose it. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And ask for 15 minutes of their time and be patient. They might not get back to you that afternoon or even that week, but just be patient and follow up in a week or so. And the book is also geared towards um, parents helping out because you want them to get involved and be in the conversation as well because it's important for them They're too. They're a huge part of this and what's neat about this book I think is, is an opportunity for them to eavesdrop on the conversation that they might not be having with their son or daughter because maybe they're too embarrassed. Or, so this is an opportunity to read about the anxieties mm -hmm. and the desires of this generation so they can better communicate with their son or daughter yeah, at the dinner table. Because it's not as easy but the, the great thing is all these jobs are just, they're so diverse. There's so many different things that you can do these days. And young people, they're almost forging their own way because they're, like you said, green jobs. That's right. stuff that our generation started. So right. we can get that done. Exactly. And if you, there's examples of stories where people have seen opportunities and made a job out of it. For example, one young man um, was... Uh, 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 loved soccer, mm -hmm. yes, but he wasn't good enough to play professionally. Okay. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have to be involved at all. So fast forward, and I won't give too much of a spoiler alert, but he created a nonprofit that builds soccer fields. So you can merge interests, your, your love so of amazing. philanthropy and, and soccer, even though you're not on the field with you know, David Beckham playing, you're well, still there you involved. Well, there you go, there you go. For sure, and Dig the Gig is the book, and where can we find you today? Because you're doing a book signing. I am, I am. Um, this afternoon, 1.30 at College of Charleston Bookstore, um, uh, till three o'clock. And then the book's available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, all sorts Wonderful. Of and it's Makeover Monday, but the great thing for you is today, even though it's not Free Friday, it's Freebie Monday is what we're going to call <laughs> it. So we're giving away a signed copy, actually two signed copies of the book, Dig the Gig. Just be the fourth caller right now, 849-2535, and you could be a winner. You could get this great book. And don't forget, call it at Charleston College Bookstore. College Charleston, 1.30 mm -hmm. to 3 o'clock. Um, and contact me. At, uh, go to www.digthisgig.com. My email's on there. I'd love to hear follow-ups. It's a, it's a, a continuing conversation. Wonderful. Well, Laura Dodd, thank you so much for being with us today. Like you said, the book is Dig This Gig. Got to get out and get it today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. The library isn't just for books, as we were just talking about. Low Country Media Centers are helping you find a job. Details coming up.